Hey there, collectives, and welcome back for another general reading. This general reading is going to be for what are they plotting behind your back, okay? Let's see if you got some friends in your circle or some foes, or are you surrounded by frenemies? Are you around people who are smiling in your face but really hate you behind your back? Are you hanging around snakes that want to replace you, want everything that you have while they're smiling in your face and talking bad about you behind your back? So let's see what is the energy of those who are, what are they plotting behind your back? Now somebody could be doing something good. I mean, there is such things as plotting something good behind your back, but usually when people are doing things behind your back, it's because they don't want you to know what's really going on. Okay, so let's see. This is a general, so only take the part that fits and disregard the rest. If this video resonates, please like, share, and subscribe, please. Thank you. Now, it could be friends, family, lovers. So, four cups here. Someone here may be feeling rejected. Could be an old baby daddy or old person here who likes to have control. Could be somebody that's realizing that they did not one up you. Could be an Aries, a water sign here. I feel like somebody here is very, very controlling and narcissistical. Somebody wants to always be right, but they may have gotten shut down too. So as a result, because I don't feel like this person has any good intentions. This could be somebody here who's used to getting their way, but they didn't get their way with you. You could have caught on to it. What's going on here, spirit? Ace of Pentacles. Somebody got a new opportunity here. Somebody may not want you to turn them down, but it could be a trap. I feel like somebody here wants to do things for you because they are attracted to you. But I feel like spirit is saying that nothing is free. I feel like somebody wants to offer you something, but it's an attachment to it. And it's because somebody here wants to control you. Somebody may be attracted to you. Somebody may look at you as somebody here who likes to have nice things and who looks, likes to look good. But I feel like this person wants to control you by doing things for you. It's almost like somebody may want to try to buy you. So this could be your thing. You could be somebody here who likes expensive things and uh, jewelry and clothes and stuff and it's, for somebody you may have a sugar daddy that's trying to hit on you okay <laughs> somebody may have a sugar daddy or somebody daddy trying to holler at them okay and they know it's going to cause problems because they got a mama see the queen of swords mm. or it's just somebody here who I feel like it's the three people in here. See seven of cups in the reverse. Some confusion here about a relationship that somebody has and there's been some type of confrontation or there will be some type of confrontation. So I see it like this. I see a very, very attractive woman here. She may be single, but I see that she, she's well put together. She's attractive. And guys are after her because she is very attractive. But it could be something that somebody's husband has a lot of money. An older gentleman is after younger women. He, he, he tricks off, okay? And somebody's uh, cold wife may have caught wind about it. And there may be hell to pay. So I guess the message could be for somebody that all money ain't good money. And somebody somebody got a vicious wife that, that ain't gonna that ain't gonna put up with that. Somebody somebody somebody's full of illusions here. They're not seeing things correctly because they're too busy looking at what they can get. Somebody is thinking that they're gonna they're gonna hit it big, maybe. So I'm, I'm sensing a sugar dad, an old sugar dad out here in these streets. 
he may have multiple people. He may not even be married, but he may have a queen of swords and a queen of wands. It's a ten of swords between the two of them. So somebody, somebody, somebody didn't get something. Somebody came up short here. I feel like it's that queen of swords there, because crowning that queen of swords is... See, like I, like I feel like it's a couple here, because see, they go to king of swords. So this queen of swords, her king of swords is this emperor in the reverse. This queen of swords is feeling some type of way, because her toxic spouse is all out here in the street paying for stuff, all right? Yeah, yeah, here paying for stuff. Yep, paying for stuff. Yep, somebody, the husband out here in these streets, paying for play here. Okay, selling dreams. He got money. Somebody may end up falling in love with that sugar daddy. Don't though. What's up with this four of cups? Damn. This Queen of Swords is feeling rejected. That's who's feeling rejected. I said somebody was feeling rejected. This Queen of Swords is. Because she's finding out something here. That her husband or her spouse and going somewhere else, offering something somewhere else. See, and there it is. The lovers, I told you. See? Queen of Swords ain't going to lay down. See? This Queen of Swords used to stay up late at night wondering where her, her emperor, where her King of Swords is. Because, see, this was a cold relationship. But she don't play that, though. She done set up, she done stayed up in the bed many a nights wondering about where that emperor is. But I feel like now she wants revenge now. Because that Nine of Swords is in the reverse. What's up with this Queen of Swords? Could be a Gemini. See? Somebody husband out there in them streets may not even be a husband, just somebody that they're with. There's no passion in their relationship. Maybe they were together for the benefits. What's up with this queen of swords? So the, the man then went out and found them a queen of wands, all right, with the ace of pentacles, something big. Somebody finding out that there's somebody has been, been offering money, been doing things for somebody outside the house. They're feeling rejected because their, their attention is no longer on this queen of swords. It's on somebody else. And they're feeling like they didn't got, got done wrong. And somebody want to get to the, to the bottom of this. What's up with this queen of swords? The hermit. See, she won't answers. Could be a Virgo. See, she wants answers because she realized that something is no longer working in her relationship. Two of Cups in reverse and a Nine of Swords because she realized, see, that their harmony has left their relationship because their spouse is given somewhere else. See? There it is. Now what's up with this emperor in the reverse? See there? Who y'all, I don't like I don't be liking these readings, but I know that that's what be going on. Man, man, what's up with this emperor in the reverse? This person may have children with this person, but they paying for some pleasures outside the house, though. See, five of pentacles in the reverse here. I feel like this person here... This person may be trying to avoid their responsibilities at home because when you're dealing with an emperor in the reverse, they're, they're narcissistical, they're irresponsible, selfish, abusive, abusive of power. And I feel like this is what they're doing. Somebody may be abusing their powers in their household because they stepping out. So they flex and they know they wrong, but they know that, that the household depending on them. So they know the household can't do nothing but just deal with it or leave. See, they dealing with a devil. See, told you Capricorn. See, Ace of Wands. I'm getting, <laughs> oh shit, I'm getting that this person here is older. He, he's got a family. He can't get it up no more. 
So he go out there in them streets and he pay for, for things that he don't get at home because the, ain't no, they, the queen of swords, she ain't feeling them. It's like I feel like somebody may be together because they got a family. That ace of wands means that, that the person, the husband or the masculine ain't trying to lay it down at home, that's for sure. It's almost like this person that, that took a, with that king of swords, somebody in turn just as cold as, as ice. They don't even try. It's like they're not trying to be with their spouse at home at all. And they're toxic as hell. Why is the ten of swords here? Mm. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Why is this ten of swords here? Somebody's in a very, very toxic relationship and it's almost like adding insult to injury if you don't like what i'm doing leave see somebody ain't getting over there to go that four cups in the reverse you started off with the four cups somebody know that they're rejected they feel betrayed and i can see it it's almost like they're not taking care of business at home but they are tricking because they can't get it up no more I feel like somebody is waking up because you got the seven of cups in reverse. Somebody's waking up out of this, out of this toxic relationship. It could also represent that this ace of pentacles is going to be a, a, a way out for somebody because I already see how, where this man is given to this queen of pentacles because you got the knight of pentacles and the six of pentacles. So perhaps maybe the one here who has been done wrong Universe is about to bless them with an a, a, a opportunity to escape this. See, they're going to three of swords. Somebody not getting over this. Somebody know that they're in a third party situation here and they're coming up with the short end of the, of the blade, god dang it. Not to mention with the ten of swords too. Oh, yeah. Somebody know that they're being done wrong. See? They go to the emperor, see. So somebody's gonna get, somebody's gonna seek out for uh, some help somewhere else. It's almost like somebody may have to go get help from their daddy. Somebody may actually feel like they need to call help from their dad because their spouse is acting toxic and flexing here. Because you got this other emperor in the reverse. See, somebody may have to call their daddy. I'm not playing. Somebody may have to call their daddy. See. So that they can go on back. They be, somebody may need help. See, like I said, it's almost like somebody know that they're doing them wrong, but they don't want nobody to help them. They don't want you can't say nothing to them, but they know they're doing you wrong. And if you leave, it's like it's like this person. I don't feel like this person is, is wicked. Somebody had to call their daddy to get up out of here. Show sure did. Because they daddy ain't going to play that shit. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Somebody got a daddy that loved them. Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Wands in the reverse. I feel like that whatever. I feel like somebody played their hands too much and somebody got comfortable in their wickedness. And they let their guards down and, and the opportunity left them because it was not fair anyway. And I actually feel like something's going to go back to this feminine here, to this queen of swords. They go to king of wands and the two of sticks. So it must be this person here. No, it was that person. See that? It was that freaking emperor in the reverse because they go to queen of wands. See? Wow. This person got a whole nother relationship somewhere. King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. See? And then go to King of Pentacles. See what I'm saying? Somebody taking care of another household here. Another situation here. Why they doing their spouse wrong? What's up with this queen of wands? And she not in the reverse, but still she got somebody else person. C, 
see, but the Queen of Wands is only with this person for, for the benefits because this Queen of Wands is emotionally unavailable. She don't want the love. She want what this person can do. And this person trying to, see, she already know what it is. It's just friends with benefits, pay for play. She ain't trying to get her emotions involved, see? It's almost like this Queen of Wands saying, look, I don't want your man. You know, he do things for me. You know, you know, you know, you know we kind of hang out and things. But no, nah, girl, he coming home. No, nah, girl, don't you put him out. He ain't coming over here. See, see, seven of swords, see? Yeah, yeah, she, she, she's a gold digger. Yeah, she's a gold digger. Yeah, she is. She don't want nothing serious. She telling that woman, look, I don't want your husband. I don't want, look, look, I look, we did what we did. Don't worry, he coming back. But even when the guy go back home, they're still not respecting what they got at home. Somebody willing to, somebody so, so toxic and so karmic and so evil that they're willing to disrespect whoever they got at home for some little skank out there on the streets. That's only in it for the money. They don't want this person. They don't want love. They don't want this person. They ain't no love got to do with this. They know what time it is. See, page of cups. This person don't, don't want nothing with this person. See, and they go to Queen of Swords. See, the Queen of Swords know what's up. Feel like she found out. Queen of Swords found out about this third party here. What's up with the Seven of Cups in the reverse? Yeah, I see a sugar daddy, an old sugar daddy, because I see old. See that seven of cups in the reverse? See there? Now that once up, upright queen of swords is now going to be a very, very evil, cold woman now. See there? See there? Now she angry and bitter. I feel like she's going to be okay because she's going to be in the Nine of Pentacles. But she ain't going to be no good for the, for the next one. See? This done threw her off. See? And she'll always have a problem with that person. The Six of Cups and the Five of Swords. She'll never get over it. She'll never forgive this person. See? Yeah, that's what I see here. That's what I see. I feel like I feel like a sugar daddy. Old narcissist. Oh, oh, old. It's like an old pimp. Old school fella. I feel like an older guy. You know, they, everything ain't working like it used to no more. And instead of him settling on down with the family that he got at home, he want to keep on going out there in the streets because he don't want to get older because stuff ain't working like it used to. So he trying to act like a young boy again when everything ain't working like no young boy no more. Flex and got everybody scared in the house. Folks ain't, folks ain't half ass at home because he's too busy out there in the streets tricking. He don't care if the lights get paid, if it's food at home, whatever they need, he don't care because he out here tricking. And this person did not want the person that they were doing wrong to leave. Somebody called their dad. Or some, some muscle, somebody calls somebody else with some type of authority around, and now they're leaving. Somebody's going to eventually leave. A spirit said, don't let this break you. You're going to have to take some time to yourself and heal. Because somebody got somebody that's, that's going to help them, though. So if you find yourself in, I feel like it's a DV, and DV ain't always physical. Sometimes it's emotional, verbal, mentally. If a person is depriving you um your necessities, when they know you're depending on them, then that's abuse. It ain't like they ain't got it because they got the King of Pentacles here. But it's, this was just somebody here who was just evil and dark. See? All right, Collective, this your reading. If it resonates, please like, share, and subscribe.